Hi, I'm Steve Bigger, Director of Equity Research for S&P Capital IQ. Welcome to this week's edition of Equity Analyst Forum. With me today on Equity Analyst Forum is Utility Analyst Chris Muir. Chris, welcome to the program. Thank you, Steve. Glad to be here. So this week's focus stock of the week is ITC Holdings. Can you tell us a bit about the company? ITC operates three electric transmission subsidiaries based primarily in, uh, in Iowa and Michigan. It has a fourth subsidiary based down in uh, Kansas and Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. uh, its rates are set using a formula and it is uh, um, regulated by the FERC which makes it a lower risk than a typical utility, which can also face uh, both, regula uh, both local and state uh, regulation. However, these, uh, there are a number of complaints uh, uh, to the FERC uh, about ROEs in the transmission industry, including ITCs. Mm -hmm. We believe it is unlikely that the FERC will lower approved ROEs uh, as much as the complainants want, if at all. Uh, one of the goals of the FERC is to promote uh, investment in transmission systems, uh, partly due to historical underinvestment, which has led to system reliability issues. Um, the first of these cases, which is against uh, ISO New England, um, should provide a guide uh, for how the FERC is going to handle the other complaints, including ITCs. We expect the FERC to uh, tackle this uh, case by uh, sometime this year. And just for those that may not know, the FERC is the? Uh, the FERC is the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. So how about earnings prospects for the company? Uh, what do you see there? Uh, ITC has a uh, $4.2 billion five-year capital spending plan, um, which started in 2012. Um, we expect that to drive EPS growth for the company. Uh, the plan focuses both on uh, uh, new projects as well as uh, maintenance capital spending. Mm -hmm and that maintenance capital spending should, draw, uh, should allow rate base to grow and in our view lead to higher rates for existing transmission systems under the company. Uh, we believe ITC will achieve a 16% three-year compound annual growth rate um, or, and our 2013 EPS estimate is $4.92. Mm -hmm. 2014's is uh, $5.70 and 2015's is $6.50. Mm -hmm. Now, how about the the dividend? Uh, the yield seems kind of low for utility at under 2%. Um, what's yes, it, what's it, the situ situation there? It does have a low dividend. It has a low payout ratio that has been dropping as the EPS has been growing. Mm -hmm. um, however, the uh, the company is using a lot of its cash, uh, a lot of its available cash to reinvest in its companies uh, to promote EPS growth. Mm -hmm. um, but over the long term, ITC is targeting a 30, uh, upper 30% range for its uh, targeted dividend payout ratio. Uh, we believe that this August, ITC will raise its dividend by uh, 14%. Mm -hmm. So you have a strong buy in the stock. Uh, so what valuation uh, are you using? Uh, well, first of all, the uh, company right now is trading at uh, just a 13% premium to other much slower growing electric utility companies. Um, and we believe that that does not reflect ITC's strong EPS and dividend growth rates that it has. Uh, our target price right now is $109, and uh, that's based on a P premium to peers P ratio of 19.1 times our 2014 EPS estimate. Mm. And that uh, uh, premium reflects both the uh, higher EPS growth rate as well as the risks associated with the uh, uh, FERC actions. Mm -hmm. Great. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. And that's been this week's edition of Equity Analyst Forum. We'll see you again next week.